Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave, and today we are going to be painting Tiny. Is it just me that really likes miniature things? Well today, not only are we going to be painting tiny little floral bouquets, we're going to be doing it with a tiny palette and a small sketchbook. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so today I decided that I wanted to paint something mini. So last month on Patreon, I did a tutorial about painting these tiny mini little landscapes and it was so much fun because I got to use this tiny little sketchbook, which is a Paul Rubin sketchbook that I got off Amazon. I think it's like three inches, three and a half inches by five or seven, I don't know. Um, but they're available on Amazon. And not only did I have a mini sketchbook, I used my mini palette that if you saw my Etsy haul, I got there. So these are the colors that I've put in my palette. I have Windsor Blue, Dioxazine Purple, Sap Green, Perlene Green, Lemon Yellow, Windsor Red, Opera Rose, and Magenta. So I just tried to get one of each color and that's what I chose. But the thing I really love about this little cute palette and this tiny little sketchbook is that you're using it, when you use it on the go, you can just clip it right to your sketchbook. And it's like so easy to use. So I thought today, because I already did some mini landscapes for Patreon, I thought I would do some mini floral bouquets. So not just like mini florals, but mini floral bouquets. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm using these materials. I have my Emma Fave brushes in a size two and a size six. And then I have my jars of water and paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so the great thing about painting small, and I actually recommend it for beginners because it's a little less intimidating. You know what I mean? There's, there's more room to kind of make little mistakes that you can cover up rather than when you see it on a larger scale, you might see them and be able to point them out a bit better. When you're painting small, you can kind of just like, I don't know, you don't have to do as, as much detail as you would have to do with a bigger painting. So we're going to be painting a couple really tiny um, bouquets just because you guys know I love flowers and that's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to paint maybe one there, one there. I don't know. We're just going to kind of wing it today. This is, this is how it's going. But, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start by just activating my paint. So I'm just taking little water droplets, placing them in the colors because I haven't really figured out what colors I'm using. And I'm probably going to be painting mostly with my size too, just because it's the smallest. All right. So let's start over here. And I want to paint something I think nice and bright. So I'm going to start with my pinks and this opera rose is quite bright. And I really actually like this little mixing well. It's tiny, but it's it works. It doesn't really beat up too much or anything. It's it's nice. So let's do simple shapes. Best thing about doing tiny little things is that you just have to do the tiniest little shapes. They don't have to be intricate or detailed. So I'm just going to do a circle. Actually, let's make that lighter in value. So I just washed off my brush and I'm just using the paint from my brush here. And I'm just making this kind of jagged little circle. Okay. Then let's do another one over here. Maybe these can be fluffy peonies that are about to bud like so and I can even just lift up some of that color just to get a bit of a lighter value there okay look how tiny that is and then let's go some orange in there too I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow that's a bit too much I'm gonna add a bit more pink to it I want to do kind of like a corally color and I'll do more of like a rose style. So again, it's just like these jagged kind of circles. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this properly. Yeah, right. It's jagged kind of circles. I'm making it a little bit lighter in some areas just by lifting it. And this is kind of like, I've kind of flattened it at the top. This will be like the center of the rose up here. <clears throat> Let's do one kind of down this way. So again, just kind of flatten this side 
and kind of curved up here. It's going to take up some of that color, just lifting it just a little bit, like so. And then let's do one that's a little bit more yellow, maybe, over here. I feel like I want a bit more pink, like a darker, brighter pink right here. Let's do like a, I don't even know. I don't even know. I said I'm winging it. I'm just going to do one with like some petals, like that. I know, looks like it's nothing, right? <laughs> the detail will come in after. Okay, I'm going to lift up some of that color. It's a bit too dark. Okay, like so. Then I am going to grab some, let's do, let's grab a little bit of my magenta. Mix it in there with the offer rose kind of thing. Just brighten it up a bit. Maybe we can do some, I don't even know, just bright or uh, darker pink kind of. I don't even know what that would be called. What are they called? A, st a still be? A still be, I think. Maybe one more. Like that. We can create a couple more, maybe. Just smaller. Just to balance it out a bit. Okay, I'm going to grab some more pink, maybe do just like some tiny little buds of some sort. don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of winging it like that. And then we can add in some greenery. Okay, I'm going to grab my sap green here. That's a bit too much. And I'm just going to start doing some leaves. to have them kind of flopping down over. You can do some little oops, stems from these little berry type bud things that I did here. And you can just kind of fill in a little bit of green around some of these flowers. Okay. Have some green leaves coming from behind. Oops. Like that, up here, green out this way. We're also going to change up the green as well. I'm going to add just a little bit of my perline green in there. You can add some darkness to some of these leaves as well. Just to get a different hue of green, change it up a bit. Like look how tiny this is, but it's so cute. And we're not even complete the flowers yet. Like look at that. Okay, that's good for now. I think I'm gonna do the flowers now. So now I'm gonna grab my pink, just a darker wash of my pink. Maybe I'll mix it a little bit with that um, magenta. And then for this, I'm just going to create these like little lines. It's going to be a bit darker in the middle, just kind of like some squiggles towards the middle. And then some kind of squiggly oval shapes. because These are more of like a peony, I think. See that? Look at that. Again, so I'm going to do like some more like squiggles in the middle just to make it a little bit darker. And then they're like oval shapes kind of going around. Like the petals are curved over this ball. Make it a little bit darker at the bottom. Again, not too much detail. You just kind of have to give the illusion, right? A little bit more darkness towards the center. Like that. What? Okay. Then I'm going to grab my orangey color. Again, you, you can make it a little bit darker. And then for the roses, again, I'm just creating these like little curves here and then I'm just going to do some kind of
kind of lines going around like this. Like, honestly, not a lot of detail. And then this one, the center is over here. So, like, the darkness is over here. And then some curved lines. And that's it. Let's do this one. Maybe this one has... Well, maybe we'll do a center to that one after. Like a darker center. I'm just going to do some little lines. I don't I can't even tell what that <laughs> flower is. It's fine. I'm going to grab a little bit of my darker yellow here. Just create some kind of curves on this. And then I think for... Yeah, this one. I'm just going to do like some darker dots in the middle. Like that. Oh, look at that. It's so tiny, but it's so cute. Now, I don't know what these ones like. Do I want to create a stem like it's like a bridal bouquet, maybe? Or a vase? Let's do a vase for these. Let's make it fun. Okay, I'm going to do blue, I think. Like this. We're going to put these bouquets in little vases or vases. One more. Losing my mind, guys. Losing my mind. Okay. I'm just kind of going subtly around some of those leaves. Like so. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more blue. And I'm just going to tap in there. Especially like right under the flowers. Just gradually make it a little bit darker in there like that there's a little bottom to it ta-da so cute okay I love that one okay so let's do another one um I love anemones so you know what I think I'm gonna do that I uh, let's do some I don't even know yet Pinks and purples and reds and stuff, I think, is what I'm going to go for. Okay, so for anemones, we're making them really small. It's a lot of water, but that's okay. I'm just doing these petal shapes going around. And then I'm going to have a flat one on this side, so it looks like it's slightly tilted that way. I'm just going to take up some of this water. Take up some of this water. Okay, and I'm going to grab a bit more color. Let's tap it in there. Let's do another one. We can just do a bunch of different color ones. So whatever way the anemone is tilted, you'll have the longer petals on that side. So the flatter ones on the one side, longer ones on the other side. Let's grab some blue. This one can be kind of just going all the way around. Why not? It's bleeding into that one. That's okay. Again, we don't need too much detail. Um, actually, I think I want a little bit of red. Oh, I made it a bit more purpley. That's okay. This one's going to be like paint pointed down. So I'm going to have the longer ones on this side. Like that. I want a bit more red in this one. Maybe up here. Oops, still too bright. The thing with painting small too is you gotta kind of take into account how much paint and water you need on your brush because you really don't need a lot. So that's something to think about. I know this kind of looks like a little bit of a mess right now, but it will look better. I don't want it too dark. Another one. It's a little bit too dark because so I want to be able to see that center after. I'm just going to take a little bit of paper towel, lift it up. There we go. Like that. Maybe a little bit of purple. Purple. Just a light wash. You can even just do like half of one here. It doesn't have to be a full one. I want another red one over here. Try to make this one a bit more reddish. All right, now I feel like some of these colors look a little off. It's 
it's all good. Uh, I need one more over here. Let's make another pink one. Maybe down here. I'm just doing these like circular shapes. Maybe another one right there. Okay. Now I'm actually gonna, while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna do the vase, the vase, the vase. <laughs> Actually, hold on, this one needs to be a bit bigger. Um, what color should I do it? Let's do like a light purpley color. I don't know. doing it super light so that I can add some darker color in there. A little bit of blue. Like that. Let's add some green in there. Take a little bit of our green. And I'm going to do some stems. Like that, but I'm also going to fill in with some extra greenery. So the anemone leaves are like these little pointy kind of jagged leaves, but I want some like fuller greenery too. So I'm just going to do a little bit of jagged greenery around some of those leaves, but I'm also going to do some larger leaves. I'm going to have one over here just to kind of fill it in. Again, you don't need that much detail with these. Maybe I'll have like a Eucalyptus. Those are easy. Yeah, let's do some eucalyptus stems. Just some circular leaves. Like so. And you can always fill it in with just like tiny little leaf fillers, just tiny little <clears throat> um, stems of leaves, whatever you want. All right, now for the center, I'm going to create this darkish bluish green. So I'm just mixing a bit of blue, a bit of purple, a bit of my dark green to make it a bit more grayish, like blackish. And then I'm going to do for each one, it's going to add a little bit more water to it. Each one I'm doing these little ovals and then tiny little dots around the ovals like that. Oval and then dots. Oval dots. And there's a tiny little anemone bouquet.
cute. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do one more. Here, I'm gonna do some tulips, I think, because I love tulips and they're very simple to do. So I'm just gonna grab some pinks. And with these, they can be a little bit longer too. And you're just going to make these like a, a U shape and then kind of just make it a little bit jagged at the top. Change it up, I'm gonna grab some red. I'm gonna grab some yellowy orange here. Simple like that. And then our green. And mix it in with this like orangey color there and I'm just gonna oh I should probably put some sort of vase it's okay I'll do it in a second I'm gonna do the stems first so I can see where they're going like that and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue to my green and I'm gonna do these long curving leaves. This is like the easiest thing to do. You can have one that's kind of flopped over. Like that. And then let's just do like a little vase thing here. Maybe I'll do this light color here, just make it small. Add a little bit more color. Like that, and that's it so easy and then if you wanted to just take it like a step further once the flowers are dry you can just kind of like do a line down the middle just to kind of cut up between um the couple of uh what's it called ah, tulip petals <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say and that's it and there we go there are our extremely tiny cute little bouquets Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.